Hello, I'm Fox 6 meteorologist Justin Zalich here to talk to you today about weather radios. Now, you may have heard us over the past couple of days and will likely hear us over the next few weeks talk about these weather radios. Fox 6 is teaming up with Walgreens and Midland Weather Radios to bring you these weather radios. You'll find them at Walgreens at a discounted price. What they will do is they will alert you to severe weather watches, warnings, tornado watches, and warnings. Really one of the quickest ways to get that information. These things will beep sometimes even before we're on air to talk about what's going on. So it's one of the best ways to be prepared for severe weather. And when the weather is nice, they'll give you forecast 24-7. So if you pick these up at your local Walgreens, you get it out of the package, you're going to want to know how to program it. So let's go to that right now. We got this out of the package, got it plugged in here. Also, you can get the batteries, uh, put those up and back. And that's a really important thing, too, is, you know, at night, if your house loses power, you know, this cord is going to be pretty much useless. The battery backup will still make sure that this radio functions. So let's get the antenna pulled out here. All right, this is what you're going to see, or you'll see as soon as you plug it in the, uh, you know, 12 o'clock, maybe even flashing 12 o'clock time on there. We'll show you how to, how to change the time around as well. So the buttons that we're going to need here, the menu button, the select button, and what you'll hear me refer to as the arrow buttons. You kind of see the up and down arrow, the left and right arrow. That'll help us scroll through these different options. So to get to the menu, hit the menu button. Our first option would be time if you wanted to change the time to the appropriate time the lighting options, the alert test if you want to test uh, how loud that alert is going to be once it does go off, the alert type if you want just the voice to come on to tell you what's going on with the watches and warnings, if you want the tone which is a little bit louder which is good to wake you up in the middle of the night if there is a tornado warning issued, or there's just the display which would have no volume whatsoever but just show you the alert type that's on here. The same set, and we'll come back to that in a second, the channel or frequency, and the alarm, if you want to program this as an alarm clock. Let's go back to channel or frequency. Now, there are seven different channels or frequencies. Most of us in southeastern Wisconsin are going to be on the same one. So once you get the channel, this is what's actually going to pick up the radio frequency. Go to select. And most of us in southeastern Wisconsin will just have this 162.4 frequency. Again, there's seven different frequencies. Now, you're not really hearing anything but static right now, and part of the reason why is we're not in a very good part of the building to pick this up. And if you're having that same trouble in your house, you know, these might not function perfectly in your basement. Maybe get them on an upper floor, maybe get them over by a window, and that'll help pick up the signal a little bit stronger. Most of us, like I said, Milwaukee County, Waukesha County, parts of Racine and Washington, and Ozaki counties, you're going to want that 162.4 frequency. For those in maybe eastern Racine, Kenosha County, Fond du Lac, parts of Dodge County and Sheboygan County as well, scroll through to the seven different frequencies until you hear the voice come on that's giving you the, the, the local forecast. But like I said, for most of us, we'll be at that 162.4 frequency. So we'll leave it there for now. We're back to channel. Let's go back to that same set. Now what the same set is, it's a code that will be able to program your radio for just your specific county. Now if I go to select, once we're on that option in the menu, go to select. Right now this menu is set for any. So that frequency that covers several different counties, any of those counties that the frequency covers, if they're under a watch or a warning, this radio will go off. Now that's good if you want to be alerted well ahead of time, say if you're in Milwaukee County and you want to hear about watches and warnings for Jefferson County and uh, Waukesha County as well, those watches and warnings will, should go off when it's set to any and they'll give you a heads up. But if you don't want every watch and warning going off, you can scroll down until you get to either multiple for multiple counties or we'll show you how to program this for just a single county. If, say you're in Milwaukee County and you just want to program this to only to alert you to watches and warnings for Milwaukee County. So once we're at single, hit select, same set one. We only have one option because we're going to be just doing this for one county right now. And you'll see either six dashes or a six-digit number popping up. Now all the same sets in Wisconsin will start with 055 and then anything from 001 to 141. So something like 055, 141 or 055, 001 or any number in between. I just punched in a uh, generic here with the final digits as uh, three nines. To find your same set for your county, uh, hop online, go to Google, type in same code Wisconsin, S-A-M-E,
cold Wisconsin. And the first couple of options on Google will give you uh, uh, the list of all the counties in Wisconsin with their same codes. So you can punch in that code. Now, for this uh, weather radio specifically, let's go back to menu. We're just going to leave that at, at any so that we can be alerted to any watches and warnings in the surrounding area as well. So we showed you how to program the frequency to actually get your weather radio working. We showed you how to program it for the same set. And running through this once or twice, you should be able to figure everything out for yourself, how to program the time as well. Again, just hit the menu option, scroll through the menu with those arrows to the option that you want to, uh, to select, hit the select button, you can play with it and figure it out for yourself. Again, a great tool to have during severe weather. Again, you can pick these up at a discounted price at all Walgreens in southeastern Wisconsin through June.